Hello Retro Community and welcome back to my Retro Channel. Hi. Look what we got here. We have the PAL 2, the successor of the PAL 1. Da -da 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 -da, by Leo Gunning. It's now available on Tindy and I saw it yesterday. Da -da -da. Turn it around, I'll show you. This is number four. So one of the first models ever sold. I'm glad to have it. It comes with a plan and a manual and a part list and everything. What's different to the PAL-1 is that this um, single port computer has 64 kilobyte of RAM on board not only five so you don't have to update it immediately to make something useful with it also it doesn't have a power connector on board or an rt uh, rs232 port which means you have to power it through the application connector like the original kim one so what's next different um, leo also delivers a little USB to TTL level device, which lets you connect it to your PC if you want and power it through it. So you save a lot of energy because you don't have to level down your voltage from 9 volts to 5 volts. The display is very bright. You can see it by day without any problems. Here you have everything on board. We have the uh, 6502 processor and two 6532 riot chips additionally a little rom and 64 kilobyte ram everything is switchable on and off through this little micro switches so you can add rom boards if you want i think there are already some in uh, in uh, planning so let's see what this future brings um, some other bot to connect it to or something um, i just finished it yesterday night and uh, make the first check how to yes stickers we have stickers with the <laughs> pal too uh, so i i checked if everything worked and it looked good so now let's try our first game I loaded uh, Hexpawn, which is a, a bit like chess, with just nine fields. Mm -hmm. Go. I'm on the bottom and I have to bring my pieces up to the top. Let's try it. It's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, two position, three. Tuck. Now the computer makes from one to four and I go from three to one. Oh, I lost. <laughs> okay. Reset and start the game again. The remarkable thing with this little program is that um, Hexpawn learns how to move better. It's uh, one of the first artificial intelligence programs for all because it starts as a complete dumb thing and it gets unbeatable. After the 20 or so move, you cannot beat it anymore. So right now, you see it, I can uh, switch through all the through all the memory 64k with the hex key bed but i can turn on the serial line by just inserting this one here reset and go here we are i could look now basic or whatever i want it wouldn't be any problem at all i checked it yesterday this works already the next thing I want to do actually is um, uh, read out the onboard ROM, the two kilobyte monitor, and modify it. It's a, it's um, an electronic erasable EEPROM, so I can 
modify it easily without uh, buying just a bunch of it. And add Wadsmon, Wadsmon. So this will be my next task. And after that, I actually want to connect my um, IAC bus device I built. So I can uh, add on some Commodore disk drives. And uh, let's see if this works too. So thank you, Leo, for this great little device. You see, we have a big keypad with printed keys and 64 kilobytes of RAM on board already. Everything is switchable and more like the original Kim one. A great thing to play with. Thanks a lot. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice time. See you. Bye bye.